Yo guys, this is Reinhardt and today I'll be doing some matches on my luck. I'm running WLS, WLP, basically warrior luck healer. We fuck shit up and let me show you some matches how we do it. Our first match is in Ring of Valor against TSG. And TSG, hey, train the fucking warlock till it dies. Yep, that applies to me as well. My warrior though get on their warrior charge, stun them, so I was able to apply my UA and spread out uh, freaking diseases, dots, aids onto luck and decay. They are under pretty good pressure and I'm here drain lifing and juking their insta cast. I poured it back up because I wanted to be in the safety and I wanted to be more, uh, do more control. At this point in time decay popped our mastery and I got gripped down. I'm coiling that our mastery and into a full fear because they decided to switch to my poly. Big fucking mistake because now their poly is to sit up the ass and they're taking heavy damage. Unfortunately right now in this patch against the polys they can bring you out from 0 to 100% in no time and even though we're putting a lot of pressure right now look at this warrior's HP. Boom boom he's almost back to full. Yeah paladin healers are very very strong but I don't think they're overpowered just yet. Maybe because I'm a luck and I know how to counter them pretty easily. Right now they're getting on our poly and is it that's what TSG does all the time. Train the healer till, till he dies. Basic good strategy. I spell luck on the full 6 seconds on the poly. I'm waiting for a 3 seconds right here and then I'm casting full fear on him. Full fear, he's under massive damage pressure, he decided to bubble. Good choice for that paladin. My paladin already popped the bubble, so they decided to tunnel vision our paladin, which is not bad because right now my fears are on DR between their house, their trinkets and the spells. So we're putting a lot of pressure here, we switch to a death knight and my warrior focus throw down their paladin healer and we killed. The main thing I want to notice you guys here is one thing in particular. I could not peel for my paladin because warrior had berserk rage trinket and death knight was on dr for from fears the max i could done in probably like a two second fear which was on drs i noticed my pilot and i told him i don't have anything for you you know what he did he popped he bought himself right away this is a good example of a good communication let people know when you can peel for them and when you cannot peel for them to for them to pop defensives this is your job as a warlock please so get your ass up and do it for the next match, I want you to take uh, pay attention to my awesome accent and to our fucking positioning and how we do it here. Here, for, first thing I told my warrior, hey, go in, don't wait. And he did it, he did listen to me, I'm popping this hunter out and the warrior decided to charge me for a couple seconds so I won't get my UI off. So as soon as the warrior comes out, my warrior is gonna be up his ass. Take a look at this, boom, he charges him, I got my UA off. Life is good here. Look at this positioning. I'm in the middle, healer behind us, and their warrior in the middle, taking a lot of damage. As soon as they start approaching, my healer backs off. Very good positioning here. This is what you should be looking at. They, on the other hand, not so good positioning because they had to follow to heal the warrior and they got CC'd. Now, off topic a little bit, as you guys know, I'm a Worgen Warlock and I have a humongous advantage over the other team. My Rachel is fucking badass. And if you guys think my Rachel is a sprint, you're terribly wrong. My Rachel is a big, huge, hairy ass. Yeah, I'm fucking serious right here, guys. How many of a TSG melee cliffs wanna... Hey, let me tap that. How, how many wanna hit that shit? Not many. So guess what happens? They eat a shitload of fears that fear them all the way from United States back to motherfucking Russia. And they have to pedal through the water the hard way. Back to the fight. Their paladin decided to tunnel vision here. They, they're not on me. I don't eat any CCs. I just hold the paladin and he has a curse of tanks. This is a very, very good opportunity. He got thrown down. He is bubbling here and their warrior dies. That's how easy it was here. Guys, thanks a lot for watching my video. Let me reiterate what the hell we learned here. First of all, if you have Warlock on the opposite team, get on him. Don't let him free cast. The other thing is, watch the positioning of your team right here, right now. Thanks, guys. And if you want to see more videos, give me more comments. What would you like to see?